ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, on behalf of the International Road Federation, I warmly welcome you to the launch meeting of the IRF Environment Committee. As the chairman of IRF Geneva, I am delighted to see the work of this group progressing steadily and to witness the commitment of our members and partners. Achieving sound environmental and sustainable outcome has long been an integral part of IRF members' policy and practice. The landmark policy statement we launched beginning of this year reinforces our resolve to be at the vanguard of efforts to further improve the environmental performance of the road sector. As the statement emphasizes, this can be achieved without unduly compromising the mobility and accessibility needs on which the economic development and growth largely depends. IRF and its members are committed to the policy statement and to a comprehensive list of political, regulatory and fiscal recommendations, thus demonstrating that rather than promoting an ideological approach, we value viable, cost-efficient solutions with the potential to bring about tangible improvements in the environmental performance of our sector. In keeping with IRF's overall approach, characterized by initiatives such as the Changer Greenhouse Gas Calculator software, the Environment Committee we inaugurate today is intended as a catalyst to raise awareness, promote immediate practical action, and inspire further innovation throughout the sector. Four more main focus areas of work have already been identified. One, policy and regulatory measures, where this committee will help in voicing the sector's needs and expectations and provide expert knowledge. Green public procurement and a green rating systems for roads are just two examples of issues where IRF can and should play a leading role. Two, environment and climate change impacts assessment and relative mitigation and adaptation measures where IRF members have considerable experience to share and to channel in the global effort aiming at defining common methodologies. Three, technology advancements which are the heart of our industry. Four, urban environment where the mobility dilemma pushes us to look into integrated, innovative solutions that have at the core the individual, the human being and his quality of life. Ladies and gentlemen, for this quick overview, it is evident that we have a wide range of challenges ahead of us. I believe IRF as a global and neutral platform is extremely well placed to take up this responsibility, having a wide range of members coming both from public and private sector. I am very happy that you could make it to Brussels to join us on this occasion. The committee should clearly reflect IRF members' needs and become an indispensable value to them. I would therefore urge you for your active involvement. Before closing, let me express my gratitude to our guest speakers for their valuable input that will channelize into the discussions and last but not the least to Mr. Dimitris from Atika Tolavi, who has been successfully chairing this group since its inception. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a very interesting launch meeting with enriching discussions and keenly look forward to pursuing the outcome of your deliberations. Thank you.